Hey there, guys. It's me, Trigger Sad Gamer, and oh my god, I'm recording. I'm back. What? Yeah, I'm starting to do this again. Uh, <laughs> I was away for a couple of weeks, sort of on break, and sort of trying to decide what it was I was going to do with the Let's Play moving forward because school's starting in about a month or so, maybe less. And I, just, I need to figure out how I'm going to be doing this, you know, balancing school work with the Let's Play. I, I've sort of decided to maybe go on a two to three day update schedule. So I won't be updating every single day of the week like I've been before I took the break. Um, but yeah, it's an idea I'm going to be working with along the way. Uh, I accidentally did the heart here <laughs> without thinking. Uh while I was walking around, uh, also I did record part of it, but fraps did a fraps and it didn't do anything. That it didn't record anything. Might I, I might have to say. So anyway, this lion guard Lion's Arch is a gives you some you nice trouble. things. I actually I deleted the letter. I should have saved it just in case. Um, the lion guard gives you some interesting items. This one, uh, uh, accessory for condition damage, uh, rifle that gives condition damage. So if you're a warrior, this is a good idea to have, just because it's condition damage increase and warrior's auto attack is a bleed. Uh, pistol, I mean rifle on the warrior is a, a bleed. Uh, a precision pistol, I'm, I'm sure so a thief might love this. Uh, the green version of it which have the improved stats at a higher karma cost uh, these have sigils of force so you'll be having a bit of a damage boost if you get these crude salvage kit and this thing this thing is something I actually like a lot in a, in a way just because of its mechanic it is essentially a med pack and it is the engineers med pack a pseudo med pack might I say it gives you an adrenaline a drop of stimulant and a drop of bandage well uh, you drop those this is a minor heal it's not the greatest in the world for me it's only 100 I'm not entirely sure if it uses your healing power uh, trait but you know you never know uh, this is something that I find interesting it's a 10 second swiftness on a 20 second cooldown uh, you can use this and I guess in a way to sort of boost yourself up if you're traveling around somewhere and you just want the speed boost on yourself um i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe your boon uh duration trait could in fact affect this i i'm not 100 percent positive it does but you know it's still something you can think about using while you're traveling around to sort of give yourself a bit of a boost every once in a while you know like this uh take it by ear if you're interested in that sort of thing if you think it's worth the item slot in your inventory to carry this around with you. Um, but yeah, you could end up looking like a spellcaster with an engineer backpack. <laughs> uh, let's get going. Okay. I actually don't have any clue where we left off. I guess I can go here, like challenge Farge at Drakentelt and retrieve your ancestral horn. Uh... I guess we're getting an artifact back. Yay! How may I aid you? Um, you're not gonna help me. Followed by night. What about you, Garm? Never mind. Yes, the imbalance is stronger here. I can sense the horn casting a dark shadow. Varg used the horn to summon ice imps. If he found a way to infuse the horn with Jormag's corruption, there's no telling what else he could unleash with it. Then stay close and move fast. We're not leaving without the horn. Oh yeah, Valdis getting all tough and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Why must you be so slow? Wait, what is this again? Oh, Deathly Swarm. Oh my god, I just realized what this skill was. Wow, I'm such a genius, guys. Like, totes. Amazingly smart. Ow. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not do that. Let's actually try to get a bit away from this buddy. Ow. Oh, dude. No. Okay, good. 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 Okay, let's do that. I need a bit of a heal-ish sort of thing. Let's do that. Let's 
well. Let's drop that. Okay. Oh my god. It has been a while since I have been on my necromancer. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. Good, good. Okay. So we're going up here. Uh, there's this in a spawn here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. That was just... Okay, get it out of that. Because that's just gonna be dangerous. Let's do that. Nope. Come on, I avoided that attack. No, 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 no. Oh. Healed myself and lost all the health. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, of course. Wait, send us fawn here. Send us fawn here. Die! Yes! Yes, go into Death Shroud. Go into Death Shroud. No. <laughs> uh, wait, which is the fear? Oh, three is the fear. Is three the fear? No, it's not. Which is the fear? Oh, well. That, that works too. Let me just use that. Mm. Of course. Okay. 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 No more messing around. No more being stupid. Do this. You steal their health. You do this. Oh! Borg, you cheated me out of my inheritance. I know your dice were loaded. Give me back my ancestor's horn. You were stupid enough to be cheated. You were stupid enough not to know how powerful this horn is. Now you'll die because you were stupid enough to fight me. Hand over the horn, Varg, and no one has to suffer. No, but if you bow down before me, girl, I'll make your sacrifice to Jormag a fast one. Then it's by force. No, I just realized, followed by Knight is a female, Kodan, and we're two female Norn. Ah, uh, love coincidence. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. let's blind you for a second. Let's do this. And then this. It's all about maximizing the weakness, guys. That is all it, there is to it. So 25% damage increase is phenomenal once you're at a higher level, I would assume. Let's see, let's go with this. Okay, I'm gonna focus on Marge and completely ignore the ads, just because I want to see if that'll work in this in, in this case. Okay, let's go with this. Okay. Maybe ignoring Varge isn't the best idea, but it is an idea that I want to work with. I should have done that with a different... I should have gotten closer with that. There. The horn's still in one piece, but it feels strange. Like a bitter wind is blowing through it all the time. It is Jormag's corruption from every crevice and corner. It is no longer the horn we crafted for Romka. It has become a vessel of darkness, terrible and dangerous. My people know a way to destroy such distortion. But in our hands, we can preserve Romka's legacy. His descendants should decide whether to keep the horn or destroy it. It's your choice, Slayer. You can reclaim the horn and Romka's legacy. Or you can maintain the balance by destroying this corrupted horn. Choose wisely, Southerner. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Obviously, the Norn Revere ancestry a lot. Obviously, being a Norn, it's my duty to maintain the honor of my ancestor but that horn crafted by the codan has been corrupted by the sons of Svanir. an effect i could if i wanted to just destroy it since it it is the more intelligent thing to do but i don't know 
I feel conflicted. You know what? I'm going to leave it to fate and toss my wallet. Because I don't have a coin. And my wallet is different. As it has different sides. So. Yeah. Okay. It's good to see you here. I am going to keep the horn. <laughs> I share the Codan's concerns. The horn is dangerous. The heirloom or no, it has to be destroyed. The horn is my legacy and an important part of my ancestor's legend. I can't destroy that. A brave choice, and one the Codan won't like. The horn might be dangerous, but we can make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Romki's legacy is important to the Norn, and to me. I know that I have to protect it. Wait, followed by night. All done. Ooh, I leveled. You disappoint me, Southerner. The horn is not what we created for your ancestor. It is a corrupted vessel. Break it now and bring balance back to the world. I can't cut ties to my past so quickly. I will make sure it doesn't end up in the wrong hands again. Ooh, I got a utility slot. I feel kind of bad now. I really do. Because you really wanted to help, and oh man, I, I should have destroyed it. At least I got a well or something to do. Apply vulnerability, spread conditions on a target. I, I like epidemic, I just don't like the fact that I have to self vulnerableize myself in a, in a sense. Actually, I think I have a bunch of skill points I can use. I can. Okay, ooh, traits, traits, traits. I'm putting that in blood magic. I now have turn trait points. Yay! Okay. <laughs> uh, well of corruption. Target area pulses converting boons on foes into conditions. Hmm. Uh, transfer conditions from nearby allies to yourself. Yeah. Send your conditions to a foe. Spectral grasp, pull your foe to your you, chill them and gain life force. Poison yourself, transform all boons on your foe into negative conditions. I like corruptions, they're cool. But I'm such a coward. Ah Okay <laughs> Let's Let's see, let's go with Why can't I have lots of wells to choose from in this game? Let's go with... Mm. I get it. I'm gonna go with that. The thing is, there aren't that many cases where an enemy gets boons. I honestly feel like corruptions are better off something in... I don't know. Ugh, I'm being blech. Yeah, I'm just being blech. Uh, <laughs> but, 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 let's go. I'm gonna hold on to those. Actually, I, I really should just choose this. <laughs> I'm being so conflicting! Ah! Uh, let's just... I need to unlock the third line, so I might as well just get the skills here. A skill here. Uh, let's go with that this. Right. Okay. And to choose, to choose, to choose. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with spectral armor. Yep, <laughs> I unlocked two skills that I'm not going to use. Oh yeah. I wonder if I can get the point of interest that's in here. Yes, I can. Woo! Okay, that was fun. Let us proceed to never return to this spot. Because I hate the sense of spawn here. And I would prefer very much to kill all of them if I could. I just, still f I just feel guilty. That's all. Because I could have just walked away the horn but I chose not to I could have made friends with the Codan oh why am I no blah anyway I am going I guess I should just do a heart <laughs> since I have the time to do one if I start running out of time I'll let you guys know uh, let's see I'm gonna go here because there is a Ugh. Ugh. what am I doing 
there is a waypoint here, and as you all know, if there is a waypoint somewhere, you should, you know, get it. Just in case you actually have to return to that spot at some point. Which, by the way, I find interesting because not all, like, I only ever use a waypoint in a random obscure area of a map just because I die. <laughs> it's not really as in I have to go here. I just have to go here. It's really rare that ever happens. I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. Okay, I had a bit of a issue with stuff. Of course, Fraps has to be Fraps. I really want to get something different because Fraps is honestly starting to... Ugh. I don't want to complain a lot on the on these videos, but still, Fraps is just being ugh. But yeah, let's talk to the scout. Since corruption spread by the ice brute has blocked the main road, we've had to detour traffic through this dangerous side route. The increased risk has hurt trade to and from Lion's Arch, even affecting our ability to get basic supplies. We must improve the safety of the road so that the flow of trade can be re-established. Okay, I can do that. Right, guys? We can totally help re-establish trade routes. Because, you know, we're awesome like that. Come on. Come on. Ooh, there's another scout here. Ha! <laughs> ah, lots of talking today, aren't we? Talking to the strangers and the whatnots. It's Scald Ulfig. Scout. Okay, that guy's audio left. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, south of us is Owl. A temple dedicated to... Uh, I mean, not a temple. A homestead dedicated to Owl. Ooh, I want to go see that. Another land to spread my Should we legend. go see that? We probably should. Uh, it's too far, though. We'll get to it some other time, I guess. I have an idea about that, too. Just to sort of... Because I know chances are... Hey, I need to talk to you. Huh? Hey there, are you looking for something to do? With ice blocking the like line road, customer. we've been forced to create a detour through Jutton territory and could help us keeping the path safe. Sounds good. Uh, where should I start? Go west into Jotun's Vista. The trick is to keep the markers lit so people down wa don't wander into Jotun camp. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. You could also check around for Jotun weapons. Better in our hands than theirs. Alright, I can do that. I can totally do that. So I just have to light fires. Kill this wolf. Because why not? <laughs> right? Do that. Nothing can bring me down. Okay. Come on. Come on, Valdis. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, okay. I need to talk Boom. To oh yeah. Shoot. It summoned someone. Go with this. Go with that. Okay. Miss form. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some damage reduction. Some damage reduction. Okay. Ugh. I cannot fight wolves apparently. <laughs> I'm horrible at it. Let's see. Where are the markers? Oh, here are the markers. Ah, another place to roam. Mm hmm. Lots of places to roam. Let's do this. Let's fight that Jotun. Whoa. That was a lag spike. Okay, let's do this. Whew. Okay. 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 Let's go with the detour marker. I think I'm just going to light all the, mark all the markers first and then start killing things like a mad cray cray psycho. Or something. Or Matt Skills Poner, y'all. It's uh, uh, okay. Every single time I see an axe being thrown at me, all I think about is or ah or. Okay. But yeah, I do wonder how my relationship with the code is going to be from now on. I mean. I know the personal story is private. It doesn't really affect. Why am I glancing so much? It doesn't really affect the overall game world. Which, honestly. Oh, I could have used a corruption here. Huh. You know what? I, I should probably do that. Let's see. I got Well of Corruption. Mm hmm. 
Next time I see a Jotun starting to give itself might, I'll probably do that. That's actually that actually seems like a smart thing to do. Hi there, Jotun that decided to take camp in this bridge. Let me dodge for a lot of that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Okay, you're starting to buff yourself. Ha 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 ow. Come on. I did a smart thing. Oh, look at me. Look at me, guys. I'm being intelligent. Let me light this marker here. I saw an event. I wonder if I can do it. Oh, I can do it. Hey, you! Over here! Yes? What can I do for you? I hate to ask for help, but we've uh, been forced to detour through Jotun territory, and they seem a mite upset. We'll need more manpower to make it through One Piece. I'll help you. Because I'm a helpful person. Oh, we were going... Oh, we were going to go back anyway, because of the heart. Oh, wait, light up these lights. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to be going north, because I know I the northern path believe. takes you to through Jotun territory. Oh, there's a random brewer walking around. You know, I'm surprised they had these uh, fender NPCs just wandering about without even like a single bit of wares. Right? Oh, gosh. Okay. So we're not protecting the NPC here, we're protecting the Doliac. That's interesting. Okay. Anyway, back to my original thought before I got completely distracted by, you know, person... Uh, dynam dynamic events and all that. The personal story. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is that it doesn't really affect the overworld as much as I feel it should. Like right now, I did something that clearly ups would upset the Kodan. And I know with how the Kodan are, they would probably not be very happy to see me whenever they do. I mean, it, it, it could be on an individual basis, but still. Like, I, I know they'll know that I'm someone who did not. There were refugees that I was helping? Oh, I should probably fight the one the NPC is fighting. Okay. Let's try to take these guys out quickly. Why do I feel so weak? I probably have not... Upgrading my weapons. Oh, that's it. I'm a freaking genius. That's why. And it's why I'm glancing so much, too. Okay, now I know what to do. Upgrade my weapons, because I'm being derp. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Upgrade my weapons as soon as I'm done, because I have not done that at all. Have I upgraded my armor? Yeah, I've done that, sort of. But still, <laughs> I'm being so derp. Ah! Okay. Clearly, you're not a friendly person. Let's do that. Yersh! Okay. Let's make sure you don't move. I like the blinker. I like axe focus just because of the insane amount of weakness I can pile on. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. All of a sudden swiftness. Okay. I mean I find the idea of like piling on this massive amount of weakness. Ooh, I got the heart. A lion guard natal. Uh, not bad. I have to admit I have to admit it, you were a bit of a help with the Lion's Road detour through Jotun lands. Okay, I acknowledge and honor your efforts. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. What's going on? Watch out! Of course this had to happen. Okay, let me... Oh yeah. Showing them a fight. Let's do that. See, this is what I love doing. Just piling up a crap ton of weakness. Oh, it's a wave, too. 
Ooh, we got another player here too. Okay. Totes, fight then. Okay. Excuse me? Before the true kings of the far shiver peaks. Someone needs to remember that they've completely failed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Use the wrong skill. There we go. Hmm. Two more waves. I think we can do it. Can we do it? Uh, we can. Now why? Because we are awesome. And amazing. And incredible. Look at us. Freaking wrecked it just now. How many of us are there? Okay, let's see. There's a ranger, a guardian. Yeah, there's a lot of us here. If I'm forgetting, I have to target something. I mean, someone. Okay, come on. Not get credit for any of those skills. I hate when that happens. But at the same time, I can't find. I can't help but find it funny. Okay. Let's go with that. There we go. Oh shit! That joke started attacking Emma Watson. Oh no! Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm being stupid. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's the last wave. Yush, yush, yush. And you're gonna go back to your original path. Okay, as long as you start walking, that's all that matters. If you don't start walking, I'll be upset. Cause that Come is on, okay. Girl. It's time to get moving. I don't know. It's like it glitches like this always happen. They upset me. Also, when you're doing an event and you're not 100% sure if they die, you fail. Cause there are an event. There are events Good. where you can just revive Already them without much skills. thought. Then continue on, but then there are some that are like, nope, nope. They die, you fail. Okay, Valdi Spridekin. It's the supply shipment we've been waiting for. We'll be able to send out more Lion Guard patrols now. Yes. You get here without trouble. If you want to thank me, have your guards crack a few Jotun skulls for wasting our time. <laughs> oh wow, Valdi Spridekin. I've heard the traveling merchants talking, and they all agree that things seem a bit better recently. I even have a few extra items to barter if you're interested. Sure, what do you have to offer? Ooh, you have a lot. A bent Jotun crown for increased precision. A uh, condition damage great sword. I don't know who would want that. Uh, precision gloves. The same exact thing, but f green. And a crude salvage kit. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah. Uh, I guess that ends today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we will be speaking to Air about my legacy, I would assume, or something. But yeah, other than that, it's been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time, and yada yada yada. Peace!